which is 2020, uh, 2015, sorry for that, uh, format, I think it's very important that we actually look forward, but that we also do not repeat the format of the heads of state summit that we had in 2003 and 2005. If we want to be true to the multi-stakeholder evolution, we need to have a multi-stakeholder format. And the best way to do this is probably to have the IGF and the WISIS forum, whatever uh, form it takes, develop during the next five years and converge on a single meeting in 2015 to address both the projects and the policy issues. Second point very quickly, Wolfgang used a very interesting formulation among the many that he uses, uh, which is the fact that we're not working within pre-existing structures, but rather organizing around topics. Issue-based networks is the core element of the uh, internet governance multi-stakeholder approach. And I do see in the last two years or three years, the emergence in the IGF of more structured groupings of people who are concerned by the same topic. That's the way forward on a regime by regime basis. Uh, next to Alvaro, and I have only one last point afterwards. The notion about democracy, we have to be careful. When we talk about democracy, on the one hand, we seem to equate it to representative democracy, which is one modality. And the second thing, when we talk about democracy among countries, we need to keep in mind a fundamental question. Should or could governments maintain the monopoly of representation of their citizens at the international level? This is a fundamental question. You can answer yes, you can answer no. But this is a question that w is in front of us. There are pros and cons, but it is more and more difficult to maintain this monopoly of representation. And finally, on the question of CSTD, um, the question was raised whether we should rather use uh, an open consultation feeding into the CSTD itself. The reason why we chose the format of a working group that is multi-stakeholder is because the CSTD itself may welcome comments by other stakeholders, but it is not multi-stakeholder per se. It is still an intergovernmental body. And so the WIGIC format is an opportunity to have a real discussion between the stakeholders on the improvements. Thank you. Okay, we'll have to limit it to two more questions. We have one gentleman here and one gentleman here. So if we'll pass the mic to those two and then we'll come back to the panel for closing statements. Thank you very much. My name is Charles Gay from Liberia, an ambassador of the Internet Society. I just wanted to know if uh, some of the mechanisms put in place to to measure the successes, the success and uh, how do you call it, the failures, of because here we have discussed a lot of uh, topics coming from security, from uh, freedom of spe speech, freedom of uh, connection, a lot of topics have been discovered, whether uh, we have put some yardstick that we can measure the progress that we have made thus far in some of these topics, uh, just what I wanted to know, what can we, how do we know that we have made some progress? Thank you. Thank you. We have one more intervention in person and we also have a remote moderation which is on the screen. Um, I won't read it out just to save time, but perhaps you can read it yourself. I'm uh, Sean from Southeast Asia. I'm actually from a civil society. Uh, I just want to follow up with, with the question uh, or remark by the gentleman there. So as a way forward, I propose that uh, we develop a monitoring process. Uh, uh, and this monitoring process is, is important to, to communicate to, to new, new players or new, new beasts. Because I myself is a, a new, new player in IGF, and when I'm here, I want to know, you know what's happening, you know, where, what's the way forward. So if there's no such process, uh, I would uh, like IGF to consider that uh, development of some kind of metrics, you know, some kind of uh, visualization so we can know where the gap, you know, red color, green color, and also uh, to incorporate elements of targets, okay? So this, these are the issues that have been brought up, okay? This is the recommendations, and this is what uh, has been uh, agreed upon, okay? And these are the targets. So that uh, every year, every year we can know, okay, what has been achieved, what has not been achieved. And also perhaps there's a need to be some kind of mechanism, say, okay, 
if at the uh, IGF level it, it, it can't can be resolved, these are the issues and uh, it's red color, so can this be brought up to VCs? You know, things like that. 